Welcome everyone to another Daily Dose of History. Today we're looking at the historic presence of the knocker uppers. The modern day worker rolls out of bed, groans, and turns off an alarm clock. But industrial era British and Irish workers relied on a different method for rising each morning. In the 19th century and well into the 20th, a human alarm clock known as a knocker up or a knocker upper would trawl the streets and wake paying customers in time for work. Armed with six, so in the case of Mary Smith, a pea shooter, they tapped on windows or blasted them with dried peas. During the industrial age, people toiled at unusual hours in mines and factories. They could have used alarm clocks. Adjustable versions had been invented by the mid-19th century, but they were still relatively expensive items and real unreliable ones at that. Whether they wielded rods or pea shooters, knocker uppers became familiar presences throughout the United Kingdom. Many of them were older and woke people up professionally for many years. They often wouldn't leave people's houses until they were sure that they were awake. One of these characters, Mary Ann Smith, became a beloved presence along with her trusty pea shooter around London's East End in the 1930s. John Topham, who snapped pictures of Smith in action, remembers every morning but Sunday should rise at three to knock up local workers using a pea shooter. She charged six pence a week, and her nearest competition was an old man three miles away. He did the same thing using a fishing rod to tap on upstairs windows. Smith was known for the rapping, clacking sound of her peas against windows and doors. In the children's book Mary Smith, she depicted as waking up everyone from fishmongers to the mayor. She was often seen beating her mats in the street, calling out greetings to her neighbors and offering people. Top hand included a cup of tea later on Smith's daughters, also named Mary, took up the pea blasting practice in her steed. Of course, the knocker-upper line of work meant dealing with grumps who didn't want to get up. In 1878, a Canadian journalist writing for the Huron Expositor interviewed a well-known knocker-upper, Miss Waters. She recalled that a surely or hot-tempered fellow would growl or knock things about as he came to the window to reply, and his responding rap would sound as peevish as possible. By contrast, the good-tempered risers were cheery presences. You could hear from very treed that he was great for every day, and his re- reply tap sounded quite musical. And when he spoke and bade you ju- good morning, it was really encouraging. While the practice continued in some parts of the United Kingdom until the 1970s, it waned as alarm clocks and electricity became more widespread and affordable. Sure, beeping alarm clocks and smartphones that play morning music are simpler and more convenient, but they can't be matched being woken up by the soft, distinctive tap of Mary Smith's pea shooter. Let me know in the comments below if you knew about this story, if you know any other crazy stories from a historical perspective in relation to how people would rise or in the morning or anything else that you would like for me to cover on this channel. See you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and to share this video with others so they can learn about the daily dose of history. Till next time, see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed your daily dose.